Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ben and today I'm going to be wrapping up my opinions on where I think we'll be travelling in Dragon Age 3 Inquisition. The locations in the world may well be important as different factions have different strengths in different regions. For example, the Templars are at their strength in Orlais, whereas the Grey Wardens are based in the Andersfell. Orlais has all but been confirmed as the primary location for Dragon Age 3, which makes sense because of the size and population of the Empire, especially since the Chantry is centred there, making them able to intervene. The Empire is heavily influenced by France, creating a French Revolution-style environment very likely, as the Templars could very easily become a destructive and oppressive government if they took over, as could the Mages. This makes me think that whatever side comes out on top in the war will begin attacking civilians, accusing them of supporting the enemy and making the players have to take drastic action. The player may well have to travel around Thedas to try and get the help of the various factions that ended the war, and one place where the player may well find themselves is the Andersfell. While the Wardens are the prominent force in the nation, there is actually a king who could be appealed to for help, but whom is rarely listened to due to the strength of the Wardens and the relative weakness of the crown. Another potential location for the next game is the remains of the Tevinta Imperium. While the Tevinta does have a chantry, it's not governed by the same laws, and there are no Templars, since the Mages still have an extreme hold on the nation. This means they'll almost certainly be in support of the Mages' revolution, as it would allow them to expand their power base without starting a war with the rest of Thedas, who more worship the Maker as opposed to the old gods. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try and get the third video in this series out this weekend, but I'm not certain that will happen yet because the bulk of my exams are next week. As such, there'll be no new video on Tuesday, but on Friday I'm expecting to be presenting my thoughts on what we've heard about Dragon Age 3 at E3. So if you want to be the first to know about that, click subscribe, and please feel free to continue the discussion in the comments.